Now, when a new president comes into office, uh, establishment etiquette says that you are supposed to ser serve tea and crumpets and reach out to the other side and say, okay, now we lost, uh, but so we're going to look forward uh, to working with them. Now, do the Republicans do that? Like McCain and Romney were classy when they lost, and that's good. I want that. I want a peaceful transition of power. Uh, the H House Republicans and Senate Republicans were like, we're not going to work with Obama. We're going to fight him every step of the way. Mitch McConnell said his number one job was not to make sure the country succeeds, but to make sure Barack Obama fails. So now, did Democrats learn any lesson from that? No, of course not. So Trump wins, kind of. He won the Electoral College, did not win the popular vote. And so, of course, the Democrats bend over backwards. So, oh, Mr. Trump, Mr. Trump, Mr. Trump. Now, Hillary Clinton, I don't mind. Uh, please have an open mind, she said, and give uh, Trump, quote, a chance to lead, okay? Now, she was his opponent, peaceful transition of power, no problem. But I would have been more upset, but that's okay, good, good, fine. Barack Obama, of course, uh, we are all rooting for his success, he says, okay? Now, again, he's the president. Uh, Okay, okay, I don't want him to sound too negative. I got it. But it's, again, the be Democrats bending, bending, bending. Uh, even Senator Elizabeth Warren, who uh, I really uh, respect, uh, she says, quote, I offer to put aside our differences. Okay. Now, look, you can say, like, I'm concerned that Democrats reach out too much. Or you can say, hey, Jen, okay, cut it out. That's classy. That's the way. And if you're classy, the Republicans will probably be classy back. Oh, will they? Let's find out. Here's Newt Gingrich, who is definitely going to be in Trump's cabinet and might be Secretary of State on Sean Hannity's program. Let's see what he says about reaching out. Their technique will be to say, oh, be reasonable. Don't push too hard. Don't force the issue. Find a compromise with the Democrats. Maybe he shouldn't name one of the justices who are conservative who is on his list. Maybe he should find a nice moderate, acceptable to the Democrats. Down that road is a disaster. And, and so we have to be aware that the danger is not that they're going to actively fight. The danger is that they're going to offer honeyed words of subversion that undermines the entire movement to make America great again, undermines the entire Trump movement, which is beginning to change America. Honeyed words of moderation and being reasonable and reaching out to the other side, no, 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 no. There'll be no reaching out, unless it's with the back of our hands. Now, whenever Obama wins, hey, hey, Kev, team of rivals, uh, let's put Robert Gates, who's a Republican, as the Secretary of Defense, which is what Obama did. Let's put James Comey, who's a deep Republican, was number two under John Ashcroft, super right-winger, as the head of the FBI. Oops. How did that turn out? When the Republicans win, <laughs> There's no compromise. The Democrats in the cabinet. <laughs> Good one, you suckers. You moron, loser Democrats, you babies. Okay, there's more where that came from. It's not just against Democrats. I told you yesterday, Amoroso was bragging about how they got an enemies list. Now, Newt Gingrich is going to talk about Republicans who weren't sufficiently loyal. Uh, will they be reaching out to them? Mm, doesn't look like it. Let's watch. There was a part of me today that really wanted to name names of those Republicans, those... <laughs> All right, you're going to show yourself the bigger man. The little whiny, sniveling, negative cowards who were never Trumpers are beneath our paying attention to them. Let them drift off into the ash bin of history while we go ahead and work with Donald Trump. Wait, I thought you said he was going to be the bigger man. I don't think so. So, well, how about the guys who weren't loyal to Trump? <laughs> you know, Democrats, keep reaching out to these guys. See how that turns out for you. So, yeah, no, they're going to run rough shot. That's what they're going to do. And if you dare oppose them, you will go on their enemies list. Do you have any idea? Here, I'll predict it ahead of time for you guys, as I like to do. Do you have any idea how compliant the rest of Washington is going to be, yes, the media. The media already, Mr. Trump, Mr. Trump. We're having hours and hours of debate as to whether Van Jones should have said the word white lash. Oh, no, you would offend the Trump voters. Mr. Trump, Mr. Trump. Okay. And the other Republicans, oh, my God, the Republicans that were opposing him, like Paul Ryan, like, oh, please, 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 Mr. Trump, Mr. Trump, of course, Mr. Trump, right? And, and the Democrats. Do you think the Democrats are going to fight back? So, oh, 
The progressive wing is going to breathe fire. Bernie Sanders, Elizabeth Warren, they're going to come for him. They're, they're the only ones. The other, the, the corporatist Democrats are going to be like, oh, what could we do? Oh, Trump! Oh, Trump bit my arm! Oh, uncle, uncle, Mr. Trump! That's what you're going to get for four years from the corporatist Democrats, because they're actually looking forward to those same tax cuts and the same deregulation that their donors paid for. That's how American politics works. Help keep TYT independent by becoming a member. TYTnetwork.com slash join.